It is my pleasure to deliver this message as the world comes together to mark World Hepatitis Day. I begin by reiterating the commitment of the Southeast Asia region to eliminating hepatitis as a public health threat by 2030. The region has in recent years made substantial progress against infectious diseases such as HIV, TB and malaria and is committed to leveraging that momentum in the battle against hepatitis. At present, the region accounts for around 15% of global hepatitis B and C morbidity and around 30% of global hepatitis mortality. In 2016, member states in the region adopted a regional action plan to tackle viral hepatitis, identifying five strategic areas of action that have been pursued within the region's wider quest to achieve universal health coverage, which since 2014 has been a flagship priority. Almost all countries have now developed and are implementing national strategic plans that provide key guidance on hepatitis testing and treatment and blood and injection safety. All countries have at least three doses of hepatitis B vaccine in their national immunization schedule with the region achieving a 91% coverage rate. Eight countries now provide the hepatitis B birth dose. Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal and Thailand have already been verified to have achieved the 2020 hepatitis B control target which all member states are striving for. Policymakers across the region are supporting key populations through community outreach and by implementing opioid substitution therapy and safe injection programs. Direct acting antiviral drugs which can cure hepatitis in 85 to 95 percent cases are becoming more affordable in several of the region's member states with costs coming down to as low as 40 US dollars for a 12-week course. Earlier today, in my annual World Hepatitis Day message, I emphasized the critical need for member states to sustain and accelerate progress against hepatitis as together we continue to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, more than ever, we must pull out all stops to achieve a hepatitis-free future that is healthier and more sustainable for all. WHO is committed to supporting all countries in the region to implement new guidance on eliminating mother to child transmission of hepatitis B. The guidance requires all pregnant women to be tested for the virus and where necessary treated and for every newborn to receive the hepatitis B birth dose. If adequately harnessed, the guidance will help all countries move towards the triple elimination of mother to child transmission of HIV syphilis and hepatitis B. The maintenance of essential services will continue to be a core priority and I commend all health workers in the region for the extraordinary efforts they have made to ensure all people can access the services they need despite the many challenges they face. Next month, the region's new strategic and technical advisory group on viral hepatitis will hold its inaugural meeting. Special focus will be given to supporting member states to identify and leverage key accelerators to achieve the targets and goals that we must. For example, pooled procurement mechanisms and flexibility in patent laws can help increase access to affordable drugs. 
communication and outreach strategies can enhance multi-sectoral awareness and action, creating the whole of society buy-in needed to prevent transmission and find the missing millions. And resource mobilization strategies can ensure all national action plans are fully costed and funded. Despite the vast morbidity and mortality, hepatitis causes, efforts to address the problem receive significantly less funding than for other infectious diseases. Our future success is incumbent on mobilizing the additional resources required. Eliminating hepatitis as a public health threat by 2030 will indeed be an immense challenge, but it is a challenge that WHO and its member states in the region can and must overcome. I wish you an inspiring World Hepatitis Day and reiterate the region's commitment to achieving the 2030 target for a future that is hepatitis free and which is healthier and more sustainable for all.